and thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel, Kate May Modern Day Mystic. We are looking at your tarot readings for December and we are looking at earth signs. So we're going to kick off Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. Let's have a look at Taurus. Taurus, what have we got? Our general vibe this month is, ooh, success and victory. We're loving that. So, reaching milestones, enjoying our success, enjoying our victory, and coming through perhaps difficult challenges, coming through things, but also being able to enjoy that with others and other people being able to enjoy our glory as well. So, great card, coming home with the goods, recognition, and a this feeling of um, yeah celebration with others, joy, coming home with the goods, reaching positive milestones. It also indicates to us that we can just chill out a bit now. Look how much we've done. I know I've done shitloads this year. So it, it's really saying, do you know what? You've come, you've done milestones. You can just enjoy it now. Have a little bit of a break before the next part starts to starts to come up. Let's have a look at our love, at our emotions, Taurus. Okay, what's going on here? Ooh, I'm even loving this. Two cups, two people coming together, harmony. I am going to married next year. This card says um, Taurus is in your love area for December, that there is compatibility, there is harmonious energies, two people coming together, all loved up. Now this could be to also that you are moving on a step, so perhaps you're already living with someone and you're getting married. Perhaps you're dating someone and you're going to live together. This card is saying, yep, yeah, there's good things coming around you. You're on the same page. Bear in mind, it is only a minor. It's not the lover's card. So it's slightly weaker than that connection of the lovers, but still off to a good start. Great card in your love area. Okay. Oh, and interestingly, I just remembered something about another Taurus. Hmm. Okay. Let's have a look at your money now, Tauruses. Ooh, strength card. Okay, so we've got to be careful. We do tend to spend a little bit at Christmas. We can become too generous there. I know I've already done it. Every year I say I'm not going to, and I've already done it. So maybe you've got to handle your money a little bit more carefully this month at Taurus's there. Don't say I didn't warn you. But you have got the strength to be able to do it. So you could just rein something in a little bit. Let's have a look at your um, Mystic Message card spiritual i love it use this law of attraction to work with your energies now we are what we think and all that make small changes to start creating the life that you want now if you saw my instagram post video or um my latest youtube one on the new moon in sagittarius you will know it's all about manifestation time at the moment vision boards if you watched our loose mystics video vision boards so this is a great card tauruses to cut to kind of emphasize that that you can create the life that you want people are out there energy is out there grab it love that okay i'm happy with that being a taurus let's have a look at virgos now okay virgos general vibe around you is a caring card now you could open a can of worms virgos but you might need to hold a little on those you might need to hold a lid on those emotions virgos because you could open a can of worms this card is a super sensitive one so you're trying to manage everything you're trying to balance everything at the moment you're very in intuitive here virgos you're very sensitive at the moment but you could um, things could be worse so you're just trying to be in control of everything there now it's also a reminder Virgos to say you know you're so busy looking after everyone else don't forget to look after yourself and give yourself a bit of nurturing there let's have a look at your love area Virgos okay ooh, 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 la, la. so Mr Virgo himself could come along sweep you off your feet slow and steady some people find that boring but it's going to be nice and practical and there is comfortable comfortableness there is um a comfortable vibe around in your love area it may not be fireworks but at least it's stable now this card says also that you could be taking an emotion on to the next level so you could be slowly moving on to something new there with somebody maybe somebody who's practical down to earth quite charming there's commitment with this card as well so we like that in that area let's have a look at your money oops let's have a look at your money virgos Okay, money, honey, Virgos, celebrations. Your hard work is gonna pay off. You're gonna feel rewarded and there is plenty there to celebrate with other people. So for me, could have a little bit of a buzz going on around relationships this month, Virgos, but it's feeling comfortable and stability with your finances as well. Like you're rebuilding things, there's this restructure around your money. And for me, there could be a little bit of a reward coming in. Okay, 
let's have a look at your Mystic May message, Virgos. It's in career. It says, yes, great job. Now plan ahead and get ready for this fabulous opportunity. So something new is brewing. Okay, Virgos, let's move on to Capricorns. Okay, Capricorns, what's the vibe around you? Ooh, choices. Capricorns, you are in a dilemma. You are looking at things, you are reevaluating things, you are thinking, hmm, do I really want that or do I want to do this instead? So there is an air of disillusionment around you. Is that a word? There is an air of um, reevaluating things and having to weigh up all your choices. Now, this says don't rush into anything, really do weigh them up. I've said it before, it's like a shiny ring on a cheap stall. You go and buy it, it looks gorgeous, and then you get home a few days later, it's stuck to war and it looks a bit shit. Whereas if you bought the more expensive one, it would have lasted a bit longer. So don't always go for the shiniest thing. Go do a bit more research. People, situations, perhaps they're gonna show themselves a little bit more to you Capricorns there. Okay, all is not as it seems, but it's okay, because you'll figure that out. Just don't rush into anything. Reevaluate all your options, especially emotional ones. Okay, let's have a look at your emotion. Let's have a look at your love. King of Wands, this is nice. So if there has been any little bumps, Capricorns in your life, this does say you can overcome them. There's a need for you to be adaptable, there's a need for change, but you can overcome them. And he comes in a little bit charming, quite good looking, sweep you off your feet to make you feel uh, a bit of fun, to make you feel that to, a bit of fire in your belly. So you could find in your love area, you need a bit more excitement, you need a bit of love in your, in your belly there. Um, and maybe you've got a man that can do it for you. If you or you know, a partner that can do it for you, if if you feel like you haven't, if you're a single Pringle here, then this is asking you to kind of bring in a little bit of power into your love area. Do something about it. Make some action there happen. Could also indicate that you're going to have a little bit of a fiery man coming in. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look at your money. Money, Capricorns. Ooh, a little bit of a battle going on with money, Capricorns. So it could be that you're weighing things up. Oh, I've just split my nail. It could be that you are um, at odds with somebody or that you've got to weigh up a situation where other people are involved. Listen to other people's op opinions and, and don't rush right into making choices and decisions. But also remember that opinions are just that. They're not necessarily right or wrong. They are just opinions. So a little bit of battle going on with some money perhaps there. Don't forget this is only a minor card though, um, Capricorns. It's not a major card. So it doesn't have to be a big deal. They're just opposing opposites a little bit that you might need to see through things a bit more. Oh, that's jolly annoying that I've broken my nail. <sighs> Just when you're trying to grow them for Christmas. Okay, let's have a look at um, your mystic message card. It is a general one. And it says, ooh, not, looking, not liking the vibe here, hun. The outcome doesn't feel right. So perhaps you are battling something a little bit there, um, Capricorns. Perhaps you've got to go through a little bit of a change there. But don't worry, because change, although we don't like it, Capricorns, change will work out for the better in the long run. So trust that something quite isn't quite right how it is, or how you want it to be, because there's something better for you. Just going to sort my nail out. Have a fabulous December. If you would like to purchase a deck of these Mystic May cards, you can get them on my website, katemay.co.uk, or you can message me. Take care.